Hey guys, welcome back to the Glamour Index. So today is going to be a first impression of a new foundation in the drugstore. And this, but I'm doing a first impression over the Hard Candy Glamouflage Invisible Camouflage Foundation. But if you haven't been to Walmart and you haven't been in the makeup aisle yet, holy Joseph. Hard Candy has a ton of new stuff and a new display and it's just like mind boggling how much stuff there is. I feel like they've revamped everything. Um, I have tried the Glamouflage concealer before and everyone raves about it but I personally do not like it. Don't know if they're trying to do about the same thing with this but this is kind of more of a second impression because I did a first impression video on it yesterday but I had a whole, there was like a whole string of problems that I had with a new memory card that sucks. Plus the color that I had originally, which was in the shade porcelain, was way too light. Yeah, so I'm just going to apply this in front of you guys. I'm going to apply a primer on one side of my face and no primer on the other side of my face. I will be using a new primer as well, so it's, so it's kind of like a first impression with the primer too. Um, and then I'm going to check back in frequently throughout the day and kind of tell you guys how it's looking, what I'm thinking about it, and just kind of let you know what I think right off the bat. This is $7 at Walmart and, and Walmart is the only place you can find hard candy. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to read to you guys what it says on the back. The transforming liquid powder foundation that absorbs oil, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet finish. It contains super fine pigments for seamless full coverage without looking caked on. Infused with kaolin clay. I'm not really sure what that is. For exceptional wear and oil absorption, skin retains natural moisture for 12 hours of flawless perfection and transfer resistance. This is in the shade ivory and i don't know if this is going to be a match because the, their shade range is really really odd i don't like it at all there's just not a big selection so right off the bat let me tell you this is a pump which is awesome you also get 1.1 fluid ounce which is a little bit more than what you usually get i mean it's not like a big difference so the primer i am testing out today is the elf hydrating face primer and this says it fills in fine lines and moisturizes with vitamins a c and e and this is a newer primer so there's what it looks like it looks like a like gel lotion or something. So I'm going to apply it on the left side of my face. And we're going to see throughout the day if this side stays on longer than this side. So but right off the bat with this uh, primer, it feels really, really soft. It's very, very smooth. And it just, I really, really like the texture and the consistency of it. It feels really, really nice on my skin. It doesn't feel like a silicone or anything. It just feels like I'm just applying moisturizer or something. So there's what the consistency of it looks like. It's not super runny or super thick. So that's kind of surprising because where it's being like a glamouflage thing, I figured it'd be a little bit thicker. Actually, it's quite runny. Oh wow, it drips and runs and everything. It feels very light and it feels kind of runny and watery. Like it's not completely dripping off my hand, but it's like if I pull it like this, like I don't know if you guys can see the product, it's like it's kind of flying up in the air, but it, fit, it has a very, very nice like texture and consistency to it. So I'm just going to start applying this. But this color might be better for me than the other one. And yesterday when I was actually doing the first first impressions video of this, um, I did the flash photography test and it actually looked like I was about to be hunted by Ghostbusters. So I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush and blend this out. And this is actually pretty light too. I don't really know what the deal is. I mean, and this is the second to the lightest shade. And usually I like the lightest in most things. So on one side of my face, I'm going to use this brush. On the other side, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. Just blending it out, it shears down a whole lot. Like I don't see this being a full coverage foundation at all. I don't know. And I forgot to show you guys, I do have some acne scarring over here, and I got some acne scarring there, and there's a few bumps, and I, there was, I kind of encountered a problem yesterday with this, with some dry spots, so I'm going to see if I kind of face the same problem today. I'm just going to kind of stipple it in on the places where I need more coverage, and it does, when you stipple it in, it does provide a little more coverage. So, I mean, that's an option, but it's not like full coverage right off the bat. I would say this is a medium coverage, and I don't, I'm going to wait till it dries before I kind of determine what kind of finish it is. It does say velvet finish, but, I mean, we'll see. There's the first layer. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the same about it. Um... It's not covering my nose very well. Like, I have a, an oilier nose, but usually I don't have a problem with, like, covering it. But it's just sliding off my nose. Like, there is, it's not staying covered at all. And I'm usually not super red or anything, but I do have a little bit of discoloration and, like, just a little bit of redness in, like, my cheeks right now. And it's not 
it's just like it seems very very sheer see like some acne scarring poking through on my cheeks I can see some acne scarring back here and back here I can see some bumps up here I can see some texture out there the one thing I noticed just by wearing it yesterday is that it like it kind of emphasizes texture like I have some bumps up here where I'm not really breaking out but just kind of like healing and it's kind of accentuating them so I don't know I'm gonna try to go back in and do a second layer and I'm gonna use the brush because the brush seems to be applying it a little bit better so, so I'm just going to go over the areas where I need a little more coverage Okay, so there is the second layer. I look super, super pale. I'm thinking that it'll all kind of even out though when I get done with the rest of my makeup. But it, I mean, it gave me a little more coverage. But the first thing I see is like when I'm blending it out, it is super like movable and it doesn't stay in one place very easily. Um, it's on my nose. I'm still seeing some redness. It still it looks a little streaky. It's not covering my under eye circles at all. I may apply one more layer just to kind of see how it layers on top of itself. So, this may be a mistake, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so that gave it a little bit more coverage. It does look a little bit better now. Do I want to apply three layers to my face every single day? No. But I'll say it's a good medium coverage. I don't, I don't know if I would push full. Like, like, if you have a lot of acne or a lot to cover up, I, I don't know if I trust this foundation. Another thing I noticed that it doesn't dry or set very fast. Like, if I touch it too much, it transfers to my fingers and messes up my foundation. So, that's not a good thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the flash photography test and see how well it photographs. Aside from this being a really, really crappy picture, this photographs horribly. And I don't know if it's just because I don't have anything else on top of it. Like, I haven't set it or anything. Like, I literally look like I plopped my face into, like, a big barrel of flour. And it looks the same as it did yesterday. And this is a different color than I had yesterday. So, one above this one was, it looked like it would be too dark. Maybe it wouldn't be. Like, I look a little too shiny. But I am going to go do the rest of my makeup because I am going to do another face video. I want to show you guys how it looks on its own. But right now, it is 2.38 if you guys can see that. I will see you guys in a couple hours. Hey guys, I'm back from my first check-in and it is 6.36. I don't know if you guys can even see that. So, it's been about four hours since my last, or since I first start of the video. I've got a full face of makeup on now and I will leave the tutorial below if you want to see how I do it. But I do want to mention a couple of things that I noticed like right after I turned the camera off. But five minutes after I turned the camera off my skin still wasn't dry so the foundation still hadn't set. Like even after I set it with the powder it still wasn't dry like it was still tacky. When I touched my skin it was still it was still transferring and moving around and stuff. So And then by 310 so by 30 minutes later um, I put that even after I set it with powder, it still wasn't dry. So, I mean, it's it turned out okay. It matches now, but I just, you know, I don't like seeing that when I first start. Like, that kind of bothers me. As far as the primer, like, if I see a difference in either side because of the primer, um, not yet. Like, this side, actually, with the primer, I don't know if it's just if I didn't apply enough foundation or if I got more to cover up over here, but it's actually, like... I can see some like fading going on and I can see like my dark spots and stuff like my um, acne scarring and on this side I can't and I know that I do have acne, acne scarring on this side. It's kind of starting to like crease in my fine lines which never happens because let me just I'm 21 years old I do not have fine lines but this foundation is making me look like I got some so it's kind of settling in the creases around my mouth like where I smile. I don't look too shiny or anything yet. I did apply like a highlight to my, my nose, so I don't really know if there's shine underneath there, but um, it's holding up okay. It's only been four hours. By now, I'm kind of on the fence about it, so we shall see. But I'm going to get off here, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can bring me down. And it is. 10, it's 10 14 so we'll say it's about 10 15 um so yeah my last check-in was at 6 35 so this is about four hours later and i know i said i was going to check in in about two or three hours my last one but i haven't seen anything different with like 
how it's wearing or anything like that. So uh, I haven't touched up or anything. I haven't used a setting spray. I haven't done any extra powdering. I want to keep wearing the foundation until the 12 hour mark because that's what the claim on the back is. It's, I can kind of pretty much predict um, how this is going to wear. Everything is still pretty prominent. My blush and my highlight is still here. And as far as being able to tell a difference in between which side I have primer on or not, um, this is the side where I have primer. And I can actually see some more fading over here, um, like where my acne scarring is and stuff. And, um, I'm not going to completely throw out the primer as being a dud, but I'm going to keep trying it. I'm just going to try it with more products that like I'm very familiar with. The only problem I really have, I mean, I know I said in my second check-in that it was kind of settling my fine lines. I feel like it's not as bad now. Like, I, I don't know if that even makes sense, but... It's definitely not transfer resistant. Like, and I know like just then I think I touched my face right here and it's like there's a little spot. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a little spot right here where there's like no makeup anymore. So I don't like that at all. So yeah, it's, t it's totally all over my fingers. And I did kind of take a little cat nap while ago and I think I was laying on this side. So that may be the reason why there's more fading and stuff on this side. So what can you do? I fell asleep by accident, my bad. But... Um, as far as pores or anything, um, surprisingly enough, I can actually see this side settling into pores and kind of starting to get cakey more so than this side without primer. I mean, like I said, this may be, you know, where I laid on it, but I, I don't really know. Uh, I think this is going to be more for dry skin people because where it's more watery and it's definitely more moisturizing than like oil absorbing. It's moisturizing in some areas and then not in others like up here it's definitely not what I'll call moisturizing um where I can definitely you know I can see the texture or I can see some dryness under there so I don't really know I, I'm not sure how I like the first impressions I kind of like being able to try um a product for like a longer period of time and then be able to review it and talk about it and tell you everything about it and you know to actually develop a full-on opinion about it so I'll probably be coming back with some other video and doing an update or you'll see you'll see it in some video I promise I really am impressed with the longevity of it I'm impressed with how it's not selling in my pores especially on this side I mean overall this isn't a bad foundation I like I said I really can't determine who this is gonna be good for because I'm not really sure what type of skin I have I don't know like I, I don't hate it I don't love it like I'm not like jumping up and down I am surprised by it. I, it it did wear a lot better than what it did yesterday personally I think if you are super oily you probably want to stay away from this foundation if you are someone who has a lot to cover if you have a lot of like acne and like major breakouts I would stay away from this foundation because the coverage just isn't good enough for that um, and I definitely think that the finish just doesn't I don't know I just feel like if you have any sort of like texture in your skin like bumps or you know breakouts or something it's definitely going to accentuate those more if you have drier skin and you don't have a lot to cover you might want to check this out if you have normal skin and you don't have a lot to cover might want to check this out i mean it's only seven dollars so you can always return it if you don't like it but i'm just kind of on the fence about it but yeah i'll keep you guys updated in a future video but thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with me all day long for this first first impressions video so thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more first impressions let me know you guys will determine the future um subscribe and i hope you guys have a beautiful day Mwah.